Have you ever wondered why objects that are far away appear close to us when viewed through binoculars? What are the two transparent materials in front of the binoculars that make those objects appear near? And what is the object that we use to see tiny things or to read small text? Or why do we wear spectacles? What's used in the spectacles? To answer these questions, we need to know about lenses. There are two lenses in binoculars that make objects appear near. The magnifying glass, which is used to see tiny things, also has a lens in it. The lenses in spectacles help us see clearly if we have bad eyesight. So, what is a lens? In simple words, we can say that a lens is a transparent material that bends light in some pattern. These are some common lenses, and this is what they look like. The two specific lenses that we are going to cover in this video are biconvex and biconcave lenses. Each one consists of two spherical surfaces, hence the word bi is used as it means two. In a biconvex lens, the two spherical surfaces are curved inwards. In a biconcave lens, they are curved outwards. There's another way to look at the difference between these two lenses. A convex lens is thicker at the center and thinner at the edges, while a concave lens is thicker at the edges and thinner at the center. But how does a lens function? The main purpose of the lens is to refract light in some pattern. Remember that refraction is the change in direction of a light ray as it travels from one medium into another medium. For instance, when light travels from air into water. There are two patterns, convergence and divergence. Before discussing these patterns, we first need to understand how light is refracted by a lens. Consider a convex lens. Somewhere far off, a point object emits a ray of light that falls on the lens. If a light ray that is parallel to the principal axis falls on the lens, the light ray will refract towards the normal as it enters the lens because the lens is denser than the air around it. This is because the lens is made of glass, which is denser than air. And this is how the light ray is refracted by a convex lens. Here, we are only showing one ray. In reality, the object will emit many rays of light. All these rays will be refracted in the same way after striking the lens. Did you see something strange? Yes, all the rays meet at a common point. We can also say that all the rays are focused or converged at a single point. This is one of the patterns that we were talking about. The convex lens bends the light rays from a point object in such a way that after a fraction, all these rays converge at a single point. We also call it a converging lens. What about a concave lens? How does it refract rays? Let's have a look. Both convex and concave lenses refract light. However, the light rays are refracted in different directions. Will the rays converge after refracting from a concave lens? If the rays from a point object are incident on a concave lens, then after refraction, they do not converge at a single point. These refracted rays diverge, which means they go away from each other. Hence, it's called a diverging lens. Let's summarize what we have learned in this video. A lens is a transparent material that refracts light in some pattern. A convex lens converges all the light rays from a point object. And a concave lens diverges all the light rays from a point object. 